In this video, I am going to show you how to add satellite imagery from Google Maps using the Quick Map Services plugin for Quantum GIS. First of all, we want to go up to the plugins menu at the top of the QGIS project. Click on Manage and Install Plugins. And then in the search box, just type Quick Map and you'll see it's already coming up. Click on the little box next to the plugin. I'm going to upgrade mine and then I'm going to install it here. Now mine says reinstall because it was already installed on my computer, but yours will just say install plugin here. So it's now been reinstalled successfully. I'm or yours will say installed. You can now close this dialog box if you now go to the web menu at the top of the QGIS screen, you will say there is a Quick Map Services section. Okay. And you will need to go all the way down to Settings. When you get the Quick Map Services settings, go to More Services. And this button gets the contributed pack and this will bring you all of the quick map services from Google and Bing and many others as well. So click on that. See mine has just downloaded the latest version. You will just download the version that is available at the moment. Click OK. Click Save. And then you can go back to Web and quick map services and you should see there's one here that says Google go across and go down to Google satellite you will see that another raster layer has now been added to the bottom of your layers list okay so you've now got Google satellite data you can't see it because it's underneath the natural earth terrain raster so what we're going to do is just turn that off and now you can see this is the google earth data here google satellite data i'm now going to zoom in on rwanda and you can see this is very definitely a satellite image now the site of kibuye is here and this is where we're going to be looking next so i'm just going to zoom in here and you can see it's beginning to load again. I'm also going to turn off the lakes because that is interfering uh, with me being able to see the site of Kibuyi clearly enough. Zoom in again on the red dot and you can see very clearly we've got this red dot on this peninsula in the Lake Kivu here. I'm just going to allow it to load. Now it's worth knowing that satellite data, even when it's cached like this and provided from the internet, is quite processing heavy. So your computer will probably be a little bit slow and you need to give it time to do its thing. Uh, you also need to be aware that adding satellite data does make it slightly more like likely that your GIS will crash. That is true of any GIS. These are incredibly complex programs and we're asking them to deal with a lot of complex data often via the internet. So it's entirely possible that it will crash. So I suggest that you save it just in case it does. Then I'm going to go to the hand and take a quick look panning the map around. So this is the Kibuyu Peninsula. This is what we'll be looking at in the next part of the work. 